Pour les Canadiens, on a pris à la dure qu'avec la protection environnementale, il n'y a que deux choix, payer maintenant de façon responsable ou faire payer plus tard de façon irresponsable. Des maires de Goudron de Sydney à la contamination de lac Erier, les Canadiens devront littéralement payer jusqu'à la fin de temps pour ces désastres. Les Canadiens, maintenant, devraient signer un chèque en blanc afin de payer pour le sabotage environnemental contenu dans ce budget. Et comment les conservateurs peuvent-ils justifier ce transfert de dette aux Canadiens de demain? Pourquoi sont-ils tellement irresponsables? And pay later. Yeah. What we decide to do with this government is ensure that there is a balance between economic growth and environmental stewardship. The budget that we've put forward, as well as the budget implementation bill, provides continued funding for the protection of Canada's environment, including programs like the Clean Air Monitoring System, uh, our Oil Sands Monitoring Program, as well as ensuring that our economy continues to grow. This is a principle that the NDP absolutely balance. do not understand. Yeah. The Honourable Member for Burnaby, New York. Mr. Speaker, if the Conservatives want to understand the bill, they should talk to Tom Sidden, John Fraser, former Conservative Fisheries Ministers, who agree with us, yeah. not with them, and they who believe this is a reckless and flawed bill. Now, the Department of Fisheries has serious concerns about how Northern Gateway and that pipeline will impact over 1,000 sensitive waterways. Enbridge wants to get a cheap option that threatens our environment, our fisheries, and thousands of BC jobs, yeah. the tourism, and fisheries, and we've got a government that just wants to ram it through. So why are they trying to ram this down the throat of British Columbians, and why are they trying to make BCers pay the price for their wreck? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary of the Minister of Natural Resources. Well, Mr. Speaker, the member opposite may not have gotten enough sleep last night because what we are talking about is re responsible and sustainable resource development. We have some of the most sustainable energy development in the world. This government insists that resource development be done in a way that is sustainable, and we insist that it be done in a way that protects the environment. And uh, the, our economic action plan, Mr. Speaker, strengthens that commitment one more time. Of course it does.